Hi guys. It's the Hot Mess Express here. I'm not even going to lie to you. I am not even going to lie to you. It has been rough around here these last couple of days. Um, the kids came down with high fevers on Thursday and now we are weathering whatever storm this is and it's not good. It's <laughs> straight up just not good. Um, so I am going to be, of course, using all of my Arbonne products. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. When you guys hop on, say hi so I know where you're coming from. Um, hi, Kate. So I'm going to be using all of my Arbonne all-natural, organic, clean, non-toxic products today to do my face. Um, the kids are sporting 102 fevers. Hi, Megan. And I even have the groceries delivered today because we are not going out into the world with this. We're not doing this to another family. I'm going to add a little bit of the Arbonne um, makeup primer to my face. Hi from Long Island. Hi, Jana. Hi, Megan from Ohio. Oh, hi, Brandy. Um, honestly, I think that what they have is um, I got them flu shots on Wednesday. They hadn't had them this season because every time I brought them in, they were sick with one thing or another, or they didn't feel great, or they had an elevated whatever. So um, we finally had them on Wednesday, and then on Thursday they got sick. So I think that this is the reaction to the flu shot, like the live virus that's in it, because um, they have they've had like edited reaction to it. They've had fevers, but they haven't had like the all the other stuff that comes with it. Hi, Kristen. So anyway, we're just going to weather the storm. It's the weekend, so I get to be home with them. My mom was sweet enough to stay with them yesterday. I had to go to work. Um, I had a bunch of meetings that I had been prolonging forever. Okay, so I got a couple of new goodies that came in the mail. I got a different color um, foundation. Uh, I wanted to add a little bit more pigment to this skin because you can see that um, in addition to riding the struggle bus, I am also extremely pale. Hi, Lindsay. So I got the shade Honey Beige and I have been using Soft Blush. So you can see that they're still pretty close together. This one's just got a little bit more pigment in it, a little bit darker, and I felt like I just kind of wanted to do that a little bit more um, for myself. I've been just too white for words. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit, shaking it up. It's a habit at this point, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Nice, light, water weight foundation. Hi, Laura. And then we're gonna blend it in. I love how I've been, um, you know, Pinterest is my life. I'm a Pinterest hoarder. Hi, Bryn. And um, I've been just kind of pinning all kinds of like new, vibe makeup just like more natural more breezy more effervescent and i'm i'm living for it i'm so excited okay i'm just gonna take a beauty blender press this into my skin hi Bryn, how are you you guys this month they just rolled out the february promotions with arbonne and you can sign up as a preferred customer for zero dollars um the makeup kit bundle is still 18 full-size products totally customizable on sale plus you become a preferred customer for nothing free shipping and free gifts as is the 30-day healthy living bundle i know i sound terrible but we never get flu vaccines we always get unbelievably unbelievably sick from them like more sick than just normal flu sick. No thanks. We'll just take our chances. I mean, honestly, had I known that they were going to get so sick from this vaccination, I would have just taken our chances. Um, but I felt like I should get it for them because the flu is so rampant this year and it was really making me super nervous. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Candace. Um, so the 30 day healthy living bundle is still 266 plus you don't have to sign up to be a preferred customer. That's free this month, free shipping and a free gift full size. I got a $90 night cream for nothing. Um, and then what's the other thing? Oh, the makeup bundle is 18 full size makeup products, fully customizable to all the shades that you want. Also on sale for $244 plus you become a you get a free gift and become a preferred customer for zero dollars, which means that you get 20 to 40 percent off everything on my website for the entire year. So if you personally are into like nutrition and all of that kind of stuff, I'm telling you right now, the nutrition has changed, 
changed the game for me. I'm so happy that I'm on this program. I'm drinking my tizzy tea right now. I'm loving the night cream. Bryn got the night cream with her 30 day healthy living bundle. And she, they also sent her this packet with like all this free hair care in it. And she was texting me today about how much she loved the hair care, how great her hair felt. So we have everything. It's all non-toxic. It's all good for you. I'm living for it. Hi, Larissa. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Peg. Um, so as you can see, this makeup sits on my skin and it looks like really my skin. It doesn't look fake. And like I said, I know I've said it a couple of times, but if you're new here, I did switch makeup. Hi, Kate. I did switch makeup brands. I am using Arbonne now. Um, I just kind of wanted to get back to me, and I feel like Arbonne is letting me do that a little bit more. Um, I'm cooking again. I'm feeling good again. My gut health is like a thousand. Dr. Oz would be so proud of me because whenever I would watch him and he would talk about um, like gut health and how it affects everything else in your body and like the perfect poop and like all that kind of stuff. I used to like sit there and like bite my nails and be like, oh my God, I'm dying from the inside out, but I don't feel like that anymore. I honestly feel like I am doing so much better. Uh, loving your hair, okay? Love my tizzy, love the shakes. Bryn is living for it. Hi, Tara. Hi, Allison. Um, it's just a good, it's a really good jump start to this year. I'm good, thank you, Allison, how are you? All right, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of the concealer. This comes in the 18 product kit. Um, this is in the shade Fair, and I'm just gonna put, you don't wanna over apply this because it's really nicely pigmented, but I do have dark circles from sitting up with kids all night, monitoring their temperatures and uh, administering ibuprofen. But I will say they are drinking their fruit and veggie smoothies and I'm sneaking that green boost into them, uh, the green balance boost, and they have no idea. They tell me it tastes like Skittles or added to their shake. So I'm not going to burst their little bubbles and tell them it's actually healthy stuff. Okay. Um... All right, so that's concealer. What we're doing is highlighting and brightening. Yes, 2020 Megan is more natural, but she also wants a good highlight and contour game. Don't get it twisted. I'm gonna take the short side of this sponge and I'm actually just gonna spray it with a little bit of Witch Hazel non-alcoholic toner. And I just wanted a little damp so I can blend it in. Hi, Mariah. All right, and do you see how it just melts in? That's the best part of this makeup is literally how natural, like I never feel, <laughs> I was telling somebody this the other day when they were asking me like, why the big change and all this, hi gorgeous, how are you? Why the big change, Megan? Where did all this come from? I thought that you were like, why through and through? Um, have you tried the dual bronzer highlight? Have I tried it? Is that a, is that a trick question? Look at what we're using today. This glow palette is real. She's real. Um, so people have been asking me, obviously the curiosity is, it would be getting me too. I would be wanting to know, spill all the tea. Um, I'll be real with you. When I would go to the grocery store at 10 a.m. on a Saturday in a full face of makeup that I used to be wearing, people would be like, honey, look at, why is she dressed like that already? <laughs> And I, not that I care, like, do I care what people think of me? No, but like, I always just felt like I was really overdoing it, but I had to overdo it to like keep up with the other people that I was supposed to be keeping up with. And at one point I just, I deeply looked at myself in the mirror with a reality check and I was like, no, no, thank you, ma'am. We're all done here. I got, I got stuff to do. I have like, nobody else is feeling my problems. Why am I feeling theirs? I have to do what's right for me. So 2020 Megan came in fast and furiously and she's a bit of a handful. Like my husband will be the first to admit like this, this new you is a little much. And I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome all day long. I'm going to go in with a little setting pretty, um, translucent setting powder. It's got a little bit of shimmer shine in it. So if you wonder why I'm glowing, it's probably this, but um, for a bunch of different reasons, I'm glowing. And I'm just gonna put that in the areas that I highlighted the concealer with. But it's totally translucent, so it's gonna kind of like blur out your pores. It's going to set your makeup so that it doesn't shift during the day. 
it's all good. And it smells really, 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 really good. Hi, Kim. And it also just, it's got that little bit of glow to it. So your face just sort of has that natural glow from within and not that like unicorn smear on your face. I once got a comment on my YouTube channel, like I can't even see your highlighter. Okay. Well, I don't put it on like I'm going to a rave because I'm a 35 year old mother of two and I just need to go to the grocery store today. I'm sorry. Hi, Victoria. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Glow Palette because this is new and I'm living for it. So the Glow Palette has bronzers, blush, and highlight shades in it. Hi, Kim, how are you? And um, I love how versatile it is because there are days where I want different things for myself and this is so good. This is literally like Kim Kardashian beauty all day long. Like even the packaging is really, it's so sophisticated and sleek. And it's all non-toxic. Like we just need to get back to that. It's non-toxic. What more do we have to say? All right, so let me grab my bronzing brush. And I'm gonna go in with this shade Moonstone right here. Actually, no, we're gonna go a little more glowy. I'm gonna go in with Twilight. Oh my God, Twilight, that makes me wanna watch Edward Cullen. Was anyone else a Twilight person or should I not admit that out loud? Because I was deeply deeply rooted in twilight. I was in a dig deep twilight hole for a minute there. Hi, Laura. Like I wanted to go to Forks, Washington, if that actually exists. And, oh, I read all the books. I couldn't come up for air. I even had a sticker on my car. This is a funny story. I had a sticker on my car that said, quote, I drive like a Cullen. And I loved it, even though I should have been, you know, 16 years old and sporting it and not in my 30s. But I also have a black SUV. And so I had the I drive like a Cullen sticker on it. Side note, I also have a lead foot. Like I also have a tendency to exceed the speed limit on occasion. So I have been pulled over. And one time I totally pulled the I'm pregnant and I have to get home to go to the bathroom and I did like I was literally speeding because my bladder was about to pop and Chase was in the back seat I was pregnant with Dylan and the cop was like listen I'm just gonna write you a parking on the pavement ticket and you can bring it to court and get it pled down no you know non-moving violation so I'm like okay so I'm about to like pull back onto the road and I see the trooper come back to talk to me I'm like this is not good so he knocks on the window and I roll it down I'm like yes officer and he goes I just saw the sticker on your car what does I drive like a Cullen mean and I'm like well if you've watched the Twilight movies the Cullens are the vampires and they all drive black SUVs he's like and they speed I'm like they they might speed and he's like my wife is obsessed don't let me catch you doing this again. I'm going to recognize your car. And I'm like, all right, thank you. Um, it's been on the past few days. And then I was watching it like, wow, they're so dramatic. <laughs> I know, I know. And honestly, like I couldn't stand Kristen Stewart. I just never could stand her. But I was so, I wanted a sparkly, shiny vampire to come down to earth and seduce me. I just did. I'll be totally honest with you. I was like, how old? I mean, they've been out for a long time, like 10 years, right? So I was a 25-year-old married woman who wanted a sparkly vampire in my life. What's wrong with that? Speaking of sparkly, living for this glow palette. Just, just going to say that out loud. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Moonstone. I'm going to use that as a blush. She is so awkward. I agree. Although I think that now that she's an adult, she's less awkward. Like that new movie she's in where she's kind of got like um, Demi Moore vibes. It's sort of like Terminator-ish. I don't even know what it's called. Um, that actually doesn't look like I would dislike her in it. But um, yeah, I agree. She was the lip, you know, the lip biting and the... You know, oh, I don't know, Taylor or Edward. It's Edward. If you were ever Taylor, what was his, Joe, what was his name in there? Um, Jacob, Jacob. If you were ever team Jacob, I don't know why. Like, 
whenever anyone was like, oh my God, I would have totally picked Jacob over Edward. I'm like, we can't be friends. We just can't be friends. For me, it was very clear. I was there for Edward Cullen. Why is there a foo foo fuzzy there? Hi, Andrea. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of this Stardust highlight. You were Team Jacob. Oh, were you Team Jacob or Team Edward though? Because this was also something that I found myself talking way too much about at the time. Like, uh, no, Edward all day. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go in with the shade Stardust. And I'm just going to put a little bit right up here on my cheekbone for that natural glow. Oh, I want it to be a Cullen in the worst way. I mean, built-in family, travel the world, go out in the daylight, sparkle, sparkle. What was not to like? Really. My husband thought it was so funny, but I would get like all jacked up on these movies. I couldn't stop myself. It was a real problem. <laughs> It was truly a problem. All right, so I was just telling you, first of all, I could stop here and be totally happy because this feels like very good. It feels very natural. I don't feel overdone. Hi, Vanessa, how are you? But I'm not gonna stop here because I don't know how to stop. So um, one of the pictures that I was looking at on Pinterest this morning had this really pretty like ruby pink eye and I kind of wanted to do, well, welcome, Vanessa. Thank you for coming. Um, I wanted to do this really pretty ruby pink eye that I saw and hi, all of that lives right here. So I'm going to go in with the shade Clove, which is this really pretty one right here. And I'm just going to build that up in my crease. Again, we're going natural. We're not overdoing it, but I want like a little bit of a pink, warm rose kind of shimmer in there. Hi, Casey. Hi, Tanya. Um... So yeah, Twilight, I definitely, definitely was sick over that movie. And then all the other subsequent ones, you know, the new moon and the breaking dawn and all of that breaking dawn part two. And then clearly 50 shades of gray. We don't even need to talk about that. I mean, we might need to talk about it, but I don't know if it's appropriate to talk about it because I was also the books. Fifty Shades were everything. The movie, not so much. But the books, hi. Everything. Which, if you don't know, and I'm sure everybody knows, and I'm being the most repetitive person ever, but Fifty Shades was based off of basically the adult version of Twilight. Everyone knows that. If you don't know, please raise your hand, and then I'll feel really good about giving you a little knowledge. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of this shade sand right to my lid because I don't want to be so over the top that it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to add a little sand right to my lid. And then we're going to put just a little bit of shimmer shine on it. Why not? Um, if I had more time, I keep watching, but I actually have to move now. Have a great day. You're so talented. Kim, thank you so much. I will see you back here tomorrow, possibly. All right. How pretty is that? Just like super natural, not mad at it. All right, and then we're gonna take the shade Desert. Right here. Pretty little shim. And we're gonna add it right to this. These products are all hypoallergenic. So hypoallergenic products and me are best friends because a lot of things irritate my skin really bad, and I definitely don't want to get into that again. Um, this feels much better on my skin, especially my eyes that are super sensitive. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that clove just to my lower lash line because I can, so I will. La, 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 la. All right, so a little bit of clove to that lower lash line. I love to use eyeshadow as a liner, especially on my lower lash line because it blends out so easily and because you don't look like way, way overdone. You can sort of smudge it and soften it if you need to. Um, whenever I would go in with a pencil or something, I just felt like it was all that I noticed on my face. So I'm pretty particular about not doing that now. 
All right, we're gonna go in with Speaks Volume Mascara. I love this mascara. It feels so good on. My lashes look nice. <laughs> Way to go, Megan. My lashes look so nice. We'll clean that up after. I got a little mascara here. Um, my Anyway, back to my programming. Um, my lashes look really long and neat. They don't look really heavy and ever chunky. That's what I really like about this. It grabs each lash and just makes it stand right up. I still do two coats though. So yeah, Hannaford to go grocery delivery is coming. I could not imagine packing the children up and they definitely are not at their most agreeable selves right now. So we needed all the help that we could get. And I'm sure that even when I make them chicken soup tonight, they will complain that they want something else, but whatever. This is what moms are supposed to do in my book. You're sick, let me dote on you. Let me bring you things, let me make you soup. Let me heal you. They are drinking their veggie and fruit smoothies though. And that's really all that I care about at this point. Okay, I'm just gonna take what I have left over on the wand and do my lower lash line. Oh, and she's back. I'm gonna fix this little bit of mascara that I accidentally got on my cheek with just a pinch of concealer. We'll blend that out. So if you have ever wanted to try the Arbon Nutrition, this is the time you can become a preferred customer for free this month. Get free shipping, get a free gift. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, and then you get 20 to 40% off of my website all year long. All right, so I was kind of trying to go with a um, look that I found on Pinterest. You look stunning and so happy. I love your lives, Jana. Thank you so much. Um, I was trying to go with a look that I found on Pinterest today and um, just kind of like play up that whole very subtle but glowy vibe um, that she had. And she had like a very pretty lip and I'm sort of between what I should do. I am gonna go in with peach lip liner oh I still have to do my brows too let's do brows first sorry I got a new brow um I got a medium liner I've been using the light which came with my kit but I wanted to kind of kick it up a notch so I got a medium liner I'm gonna line my lap my brows with the medium and then I'm gonna fill in with the light I like a little bit of dimension which is why I use two different colors to do my brows um, especially because I'm super fair skin and my hair is so light. It's too light right now. Um, so I wanted to go in and grab something that gave me a little bit more pigment on my face. Hi, Devin. Lately, I have been doing my brows because of you. Total game changer. Mariah, I'm so happy to hear that. Um, it really is. If you've never done your brows before, you will be amazed at the difference. At first, a lot of people are like, I don't recognize myself, I don't like it because it does just pronounce your face so much more, but it truly does change the shape of your face. And all day long, I will tell you that I think brows make such a huge difference on a woman's face. Um, when I do my mom's brows, she's always like, don't draw those big eyebrows on me, Megan. But when I get done, she's like, okay, you're right, I needed that. Because as we age, our brows get a little bit lighter and more sparse. And we just need a little boost. This is using the light shade now, just kind of filling in the front a little bit. Again, everything is non-toxic, completely vegan, soy, dairy, nut, all those things free. So if you have anybody sensitive in your house to those things, you're doing a good thing for yourself. On the end of that is always a little spoolie. I'm just gonna use that to brush up my brows. Embrace the natural. Embrace, embrace, embrace. And then I'm gonna grab our little brow gel that also comes in the kit. What do you know? Isn't she cute? This is the light brow gel. Holds your, your brows in place all day long. How adorable is that thing? 
Oh my God, it's so stinking cute. So what I like about this is if you're looking to sort of make your brows look a little bit larger without looking just like they've been sort of tattooed on your face, this allows you to position them and keep them perfectly. Have you ever seen, I'm going to interrupt myself, which is terrible. Um, I have noticed so much that when I'm looking at like natural makeup or models and things like that on Pinterest, all their brows are like ching. They're not like these perfect, uh, you know, completely sleek brows. They're like, they're, they're there for it. They're free. And that's what I love. Let me zoom. That's what I love about this is that you can like wing your brows. Okay, I'm going to take a little step back. There we go. It, it just gives you a more natural look is what I'm trying to say here. All right, peach lip liner living for it. We're going to go with a really pretty, just super subtle, soft, peachy pink lip. I believe in lip liner, by the way. Keeps your lipstick on, shapes your lips, all the things. I hear children playing basketball outside and the weather is downright disrespectful, so I don't know how they're doing that. Peach lip liner is on. And I'm just going to go in them with this shade. We're doing a simple, I'm not going out today. I've already said that. I'm in sick bay with the children. Um, so I'm going to go in with this beautiful shade of lip gloss called Hazel. It's such a pretty pink brown. Hi, Maria. tastes so good too. Super pretty. So like I said, this was 100% about stepping back and sort of stepping back into myself. So if you're noticing the makeup getting more, oh, this hair is not me, by the way. Um, if you're noticing that I'm getting sort of more away from sort of the makeup look I was going with before, that's totally why. It's, it's a me thing. It was Megan 2020 needed a change and she found one and she's got to pin back her hair too. Um, that's the whole deal. I just wanted to feel more like myself on an everyday basis. Polished, even though me is a generalized hot mess, I wanted to feel like a more polished version of me. All right, that's somewhat better. Could use a little dry shampoo. All right. So let's finish this look. All right. Um, maybe a little more glow because I can. Um, I'm going to grab this pressed powder. This is in the shade light. And I'm just going to toss a little bit of that under my eye. Like I said, I didn't sleep last night. I'm one of those overbearing moms that like listens and checks on the children when they're sick because everything makes me nervous. I read every label, like the, the 12 ways that this could go wrong type of a thing. That's me, is like doomsday prepping for that. So that's what I did last night. All right, and I'm gonna add just a pinch more of that like ruby red right in my crease because that's what we came here for. So again, I'm gonna go in with that really pretty shade called Clove. And I'm just gonna build that right up into the crease. What I like about these is that they're very pigmented, but if you just touch it once, you can go in softly. If you hit it again, you're gonna see that pigment just sort of develop. And that way you have a lot more control over how much you're putting on. So pretty. Mm. Now, if I really wanted to go level 10, I would put a set of falsies on, but I'm nowhere near that extra today. My kids are going to be like, Mom, we're not going out with you. You're a crazy person. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, setting spray. I love setting spray. I know that not everyone uses it, and technically you don't need to because I've set all my makeup, all my liquid and cream was set with the setting pretty powder, but 
Look at this beautiful little gem that came. Let it set refreshing finishing spray, all non-toxic. You would be, your, our skin is the largest organ on our body and to cover it in chemicals is just not wise. So that is why I switched, basically. So I'm gonna just give this a little spray. Oh my God, it smells like mint. Living for that. Mm, refreshing is what? Yes. If you have not gotten the set, Let It Set Refreshing Finishing Spray, please do, especially before spring, because this beauty is a game changer. I also love how easy these things are to transport. Oh my gosh. Everything, everything, everything. All right, so I will take a picture and then I'll list all the products that I used, even though I've probably already lost track of what they are. Um, but the 30 day healthy living bundle, if I haven't said it enough, huge, huge, huge savings this month on it. Plus you become a preferred customer for free. I really, really love the way that I'm feeling on it. I'm about three weeks into it. I started the second week of January with it. And then I decided to become a consultant after that. Um, because I just, I couldn't imagine doing life without it at this point. And I want to be all about things that I feel that strongly about. Um, and this healthy living bundle has changed the game for me. I'm down six pounds. Uh, I feel better. I'm sleeping better. I have a lot more energy. My skin is so much more clear. Um, it's just good, good, good. So if you guys have any questions, just get it at me. Um, there's a lot going on this month. There's a lot of really exciting things to be excited for this month. So um, if you want to get on this crazy ride with me, I can tell you how to do it for zero dollars. So um, let me know. I'd love to talk to you. I will be home basically all weekend with the children. So um, if there's anything I can help you guys with, just let me know. Again, savings out the wazoo. Plus the Rose Fizz, the Rose Champagne Fizz is still in stock, as is the limited edition marble cake protein, which I'm making myself for lunch with frozen strawberries. So stay tuned for that. And I love you guys. I will see you back here tomorrow.